meteorologist Natasha. St I have a feeling you like this movie too, Natasha. Gosh. Yeah. yeah, you know what's? It's one of the movies that I missed. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Natasha is really funny. She's like one of our resident comedians. I figured this was in your top yeah. five at least. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. No, I never watched it. I don't oh. know what I was doing. What year? What year did that come out? Two thousand four. What was I doing in two thousand four? I was working. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not watching movies. I was single and I was working. Netflix, baby. <laughs> yes, yes, doing lots of stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at those cameras out there. Uh, nice weather ahead for us. I think you're really going to like this weekend. Some people paid me to make it sunny this weekend, so therefore I'm giving you a sunny forecast. We'll get to that in just a second. 48 degrees right now, Portland looking out towards the Steel Bridge. Let's go over to Mount Hood Meadows, 32 degrees now. I think the nighttime skiers there are certainly enjoying that. 47 degrees, seaside, a few sprinkles possible yet tonight. Other than that, we're on a drying trend. Lincoln City going over to 54 degrees. And uh, near shore, small craft advisory in effect. Offshore, at least 50 nautical miles offshore. That's where a gale warning is in effect. So still, although we're not seeing the strong winds right here, at our local beaches offshore, they are pretty strong. Uh, ski report for you. He had four inches of brand new snow timberline with a base now of 76. Meadows, one inch, one inch for you. Ski bowl and two inches new for you at Bachelors. So pretty exciting stuff. But uh, Meadows up at uh, Midway, about 6,200 feet. They have a base of about eight feet of snow. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, looking at high pressure, it is building over the east side of the Cascades. Whenever we see that, then we are talking about winds coming from the east, that offshore flow going right through the gorge. So places like Troutdale, for instance, Washougal will notice strong winds really ramping up throughout the day tomorrow and gusts anywhere from about 30 to possibly 40 miles per hour. So way, way, way offshore. Just wanted to show you this because it's fun. Look at this. Look at this area of low pressure. It is producing hurricane strength winds with a central pressure of 940 millibars. Pretty cool looking, not going to be impacting us, just going out towards the Aleutians. Now let's go a little bit closer to home. Uh, this particular system is actually going to be blocked by our area of high pressure building up over the Pacific Northwest. As a result, a few sprinkles possible along the coast might get kind of close to the west side of the metro late tonight. But other than that, it's going to pretty much bypass us and just deliver some high level clouds. Winds? Winds created by that area of high pressure off to the east. So noticing tomorrow morning, especially winds start to ramp up right around Troutdale, 23 to 30 miles per hour. Occasionally we could see stronger gusts coming through as well. It'll be nice and quiet though, right around the Dalles and Hood River. So tomorrow morning you might be waking up to some areas of freezing fog as a result. Meanwhile, we get to tomorrow afternoon. Our wind direction up and down the valley will be coming from the north. So feeling a little bit cooler than what we had today. Today we got up to about 50 degrees and Salem had a record temperature of 60. Rain and snow forecast. There you go. That's that slight chance that you might see a sprinkle near the coast. Other than that, we're remaining mostly dry. A few clouds in the mix tomorrow, but for a good portion of that weekend, I think you'll find plenty of sunshine. Next chance to see any rain or snow won't be until next week, Wednesday, Thursday, when that ridge of high pressure finally breaks down. Here are your temperatures for the rest of the week. Upper 40s, some low 50s sprinkled in. Pretty nice. Yeah, and you know, before you know it, it'll be springtime. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're starting